Welcome to part three of our fossil preparation series of Alice the Triceratops Skull. Today we'll be uncovering the eye, the lacrimal, the prefrontal, the nasal, the nose horn, and the rostral, otherwise known as the beak. I'll start by gently removing sediment around the eye. Next, I'll cut back more of the plaster jacket. I'll go ahead and raise the gantry hook that's dangling just a few feet above. You can start to see the eye a little more exposed. I'll remove more of the plaster jacket to reveal the jugal and the epijugal. This would be more commonly referred to as the cheekbone. Now that the orbit is exposed, I'll have to go in with the pick tool and see if there are any bone fragments that are loose. This acetone helps loosen the sediment. The eye of Skull X is very fragmented, but Alice's seems a little more stable. Now that the orbit is secured with structural adhesive, I'll have to remove this yellow lifting strap that's tied around the skull and begin to remove the jacket and uncover the snout. Luckily, Alice's skull is not too fragmented. The soft matrix on top of the bone can be removed easily, but I'll still have to be careful to see if there's any fragmentation. Any cracks of bone I see, I'll have to secure with adhesive. I can't risk any of them blowing away or breaking off.
starting to uncover the nose horn, and she's beautiful. The rostral area, otherwise known as the beak, has the same blood vessel grooves as the horn and the frill, indicating that there is a keratinous covering which makes sense because beaks in nature have keratin. If you like this Triceratops fossil preparation, feel free to like and subscribe. Links to our website, Patreon, and TikTok are in the description below. Stay tuned for more dinosaur fossil preparation content.